Hi, my name is Xuan Kaichang. Today I'm going to present our paper called End-to-End -end Multi Speaker Speech Recognition with Transformer. This is a joint work of uh, Johns Hopkins University, Shanghai Jiaotong University, and Mitsubishi Electric Research Laboratory. And it is an extension of our previous works. First, I want to briefly introduce the background of our task. Our work focuses on the multi speaker speech processing which is generally called the cocktail party problem. The input is the overlapped speech signal where multiple speakers speak at the same time. And the goal is to get the separated speech signals or the text of each speaker. In this work, we use the end-to-end -end method to solve this kind of problem. Nowadays, end-to-end -end method is becoming popular. It is also a great choice for our task. First, it is because we only need transcriptions as labels and do not require parallel clean audio signals, which makes it easier to get the training data. Second, the end-to-end -end greatly simplifies the complicated model building process. Third, the sequence-to-sequence -sequence framework we are using is a natural incorporation with language information. Okay, let's talk about the development of the end-to-end -end speech recognition first. As a beginning step, the end-to-end -end speech recognition model takes a single channel speech as input and outputs a single sequence of recognized text. Later, an end-to-end -end model was proposed to handle the multi-channel input, but the output is still single sequence. In the recent one or two years, some researchers proposed to use the end-to-end -end models in overlapped speech so the outputs are multiple sequences of texts, one sequence for each speaker. In 2018, an end-to-end -end model was proposed to recognize a single-channel multi-speaker speech. One year later, the multi-channel multi-speaker model was proposed. All of these related works are using the bidirectional LSTM model. But recently, the transformer models have shown impressive performance in many tasks such as machine translation, pre-trained language models, and so on. In this paper, we explore the use of uh, transformer models for end-to-end -end multi-speaker speech recognition in both the single-channel and multi-channel scenarios. First, let's recap the single-channel multi-speaker end-to-end ASR model. Similar to the normal end-to-end -end ASR model for single speaker, it also consists of the encoder and the decoder. In the encoder, there are three stages. First, the input mixture speech features are mapped to some high-dimensional representations with the mixture encoder. Next, several different speaker differentiating encoders are used to perform the separation to have representations H. Then the recognition encoder transforms each separated stream H to new representations G. Later, the attention-based decoder takes these uh, hidden representations G to generate the corresponding output to token sequences. CTC not only provides the decoding information, but also determines the order of the reference sequences during training. We can apply the transformer in each encoder module and the decoder module. Second is the architecture of multi-channel, multi-speaker, end-to-end ASR model. Even though it is a single neural network, there are several sub-modules and they serve as different rules. In the front end, it is a multi-source mask-based neural informer, which performs speech separation and enhancement. Then the feature extraction sub-module converts the separated short-time Fourier transform to be log mail field banks. Afterwards, the computed features are fed into the speech recognition submodule. And we applied the transformer model with the self-attention in the masking network, the encoder and the decoder as well. Transformer achieves a lot of success. One major reason is that it can capture the information from the whole sequence due to the multi-headed self-attention layer. Here is the figure of the self-attention. The input hidden state sequence is projected to three different hidden state sequences called queries, case, and values. Self-attention computes the weights 
based on the similarity between each query state and the average case state, which are applied to value state sequences to generate the output. This self-attention layer is applied in the encoder and the decoder of speech recognition model. However, the memory cost of a self-attention layer is at least the square of the input length. It is acceptable in the speech recognition part because the input of it is already subsampled. But in the front end, it is a different story. Subsampling is not a good option for the signal level processing tasks to keep the original time resolution. Here we adjusted the self-attention to be performed on the local segment of the speech because those frames typically have the highest correlations. For each query, the time restricted self-attention only compute the attention weights on the local context of uh, keys and values. And we select the local context with a sliding window with window size of uh, 30 frames in the experiment. We applied this time-restricted self-attention in the masking network of the front end. OK, now let's talk about the experiment. The fundamental data we used is a Wall Street Journal dataset, which is a single-channel, single-speaker corpus. In that case, it all paper. An artificially generated two-speaker mixture version was uh, presented by randomly selecting two different utterances from Wall Street Journal corpus and mixed it together called WSG1 to mix. It is a single channel multi-speaker corpus. Using the specialization toolkit available online, we simulated the multi-channel version of the WSG1 to mix data. Using the specialization toolkit available online, we simulated the multi-channel version of the WSG1 to mix data. We generate the data set under two conditions. One is an encoic condition, which was generated by only considering the delays and the decays due to the propagation. The other one is a reverberant condition, which was generated by also considering the reverberation. So this one is uh, close to real conditions. To evaluate our single channel multi-speaker model, we extracted the first channel of the specialized multi-speaker speech corpus in both the anechoic and the reverberant conditions. But we pre-processed the reverberant speech with the external deliberation method. Here is the results. It shows that using the transformer model reduced the word error rate from 20.4% to 12.1% on an echoic evaluation set, and from 28.2% to 16.5% on deliberated evaluation set. Over 40% relative improvements on both conditions. When training the multi-channel multi-speaker end-to-end ASR model, we adopted the data scheduling techniques. Using the multi-channel multi-speaker data only does not guarantee good performance at the end of the training. So we include the original Wall Street Journal corpus, which is a single-channel, single-speaker data in the training set. During training, such single-channel data will bypass the front-end starts the forward propagation from the feature extraction step directly. When using the single channel, single speaker data, it helps regularize the uh, performance during training. First of all, it improves the performance of the backend ASR, and in return, it benefits the performance of the front end. We also applied the curriculum learning strategy to further enhance the training. We sorted the specialized uh, WSG1 to mix data in the order of uh, balanced to unbalanced energy between the two source speech signals. The reason why we arrange our data in this way is because when the energy is balanced, the two separated streams have similar energy. So both streams in the front end can be trained moderately. And later, the unbalanced energy samples where one source is much clearer than the other are used to refine the training. Here are the results on the multi-channel multi-speaker data. We can observe from the chart that transformer-based model are consistently better than the RN-based model in both the anechoic and reverberant conditions. And in this experiment, the time-restricted self-attention in the masking network only has a context window of uh, 30 frames 
which is uh, really a small context window, can further improve the performance. For example, in the reverberant condition, the fully transformer-based model achieves 13.2% relative uh, dual data rate improvement on the evaluation set. However, there is a large performance gap between the reverberant condition and the anchoic one. So we again use the external deverberation method to pre-process the data. Here we compare the performance of all the models between the reverberant data and the dereverberated data. From the results, we can easily see that using the deverberation technique can significantly decrease the water error rate. For example, on the fully transformer-based model, the watt error rate of uh, evaluation set reduces from 26.0% uh, to 15.5%. We also show the examples of uh, speech separation ability of our model. The first audio sample is the uh, input overlapped speech. A spokesman for the Nuclear beans. Regulatory Most Commission corn and wheat said 3M futures prices decided were to recall stronger. additional models of its air ionizers after radiation leaks were discovered at four facilities using those models. And the other two audios are the separated speech utterances generated by inverting the separated STFT spectrum into time domain. A spokesman for the Nuclear Regulatory Commission said 3M decided to recall additional models of its air ionizers after radiation leaks were discovered at four facilities using those models. Grains and soybeans. Most corn and wheat futures prices were stronger. Now I want to show the conclusion of this work. We replaced the recurrent neural network with the transformers in the multi-speaker end-to-end ASR systems in both the single-channel and multi-channel cases. Especially in the multi-channel model, we not only applied the transformer in the back-end ASR part, also applied it in the front-end masking network to alleviate the memory consumption issue because of the sequence length. We modified the self-attention by using a local context window. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first attempt to use the self-attention in speech separation or enhancement tasks. In the future work, we want to improve the performance of the model with transformer front-end. And we will also integrate the deliberation modules in our system design. Third, we will apply our model on the real data rather than only on the simulation data. In the end, I want to express my special thanks to my co-authors, Wang Yu, Ye Ming, Jonathan, and Xinji, and thank you all for your attention.